There are lots of fans of classic television westerns and films that will recognize the face of Steve Brody. He even had a recurring role in the TV show Wyatt Earp. But unlike Wyatt himself, Steve had an even stronger Kansas connection. He was born in Kansas. That invaluable encyclopedia of film, the International Movie Database, reports that Steve was born John Doherty Stevens on November 25, 1919, in El Dorado. Raised in Wichita, he dropped out of school and raced cars, boxed, and worked on oil rigs to get by. He initially entertained a criminal law career, but that interest quickly wore off. He had a passion for acting and found early work in summer stock, changing his stage name to Steve Brody. A move to New York did not pay off, but a subsequent move to Los Angeles did. He broke into films after being spotted by an MGM talent scout in a Hollywood theater production entitled Money Girls. Loaned out for his first uh, film, Universal's Ladies Courageous, Brody appeared in a few tough guy bit parts in such MGM films as 30 Seconds Over Tokyo and Anchors Away before he was dropped. It wasn't long before he was signed by RKO, and it was with this studio that his reputation as a heavy in Westerns grew, with such roles as Notorious Outlaws Bob Dalton in Bad Man's Territory and Cole Younger in Return of the Bad Men. In between those two pictures were strong roles, uh, strong roles in film noir classics, including the leading role in Desperate. A hard-living, hard-drinking actor, Brody married actress Lois Andrews in 1946, but the couple divorced. He married Barbara Savitt, and the union produced son Kevin Brody two years later. Kevin later became a producer-director. Interest in Brody eventually waned at the studio, and his contract was not renewed. Freelancing elsewhere, he appeared as a lead in Rose of the Yukon and another classic film noir, Armored Car Robbery, and also earned good starts, uh, parts in Home of the Brave and Lady in the Iron Mask as the Musketeer Athos. A familiar presence on 1950s and 60s television, he worked on such crime series as Public Defender, Hawaiian Eye, Surfside Six, Perry Mason, and such Western series as The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, The Lone Ranger, Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok, Laramie, Sugarfoot, Maverick, Rawhide, Gunsmoke, and even Ozzie and Harriet and the Beverly Hillbillies. Brody's later years were marred by drinking arrests. In the 1970s, he made sporadic appearances, including a lead in the campy, low-budget horror film, The Giant Spider Invasion. He also provided voice work in commercials and showed up at nostalgia conventions. In 1973, Brody married a third time to Virginia Hefner, and they had a son, Sean. Suffering from esophageal cancer and heart problems, Brody died at age 72 on January 9, 1992, at a West Hills, California hospital. Well, that's it for this week. I'm Frank, and she's Deb out there. And we'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream. We're the best part of Dorothy's dream.